Peppa Pig. This is my little brother. E. A. Sport. This is Mommy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. It's in the game. Hey guys, I'm Scar here and I'm bringing you the next episode of how to get the best start on FIFA 16. And I think you guys are liking the intros, I've changed it up again. But yeah, I'm going to probably do a different intro for literally like most videos, but this episode is about investing. I briefly mentioned it last episode with the price ranges, but investing is the easiest way to get coins and yep, this is just a cheeky squad I made earlier because I wanted to play some matches. It's pretty nice actually. So, with the investing, there are like two main types of investing you can do. It's investing in just like normal players. I should know three types of investing. So the first main is just investing in normal players. So for example, we'll take Royce. Imagine there's he's actually on the game. In the web app stages, he'll be really cheap because no one will have the coins to actually buy him. So I reckon he'll probably be about 16k when the web app's out. And then for EA to like balance it out when the game drops the prices always rise every year it rises so Royce will rise from about 16 20 K to about 50 K so if you can pick one up during the web app stage you're literally making more than double your coins and it's that simple you can basically invest in any players but there's probably three different ways you can invest you can invest in good players so you can get like the likes of Royce Courtois if you have more money then I guess like Messi but I doubt we're gonna be that high on coins but I'd say players like Royce, maybe like Schweinsteiger, and that. But the other way of investing you can do, which is really good in the early stages, is investing in the sweaty players. I remember on the web app, Ibarba was about 2k when it came out. He went up to 20k on the web app. It was just ridiculous. Just because people think he's going to be as good as last year. When the game drops, everyone wants to try him out. Everyone wants to use Ibarba, so his price will rise. And the good thing about investing in these sweatier players is you make a lot more profit for the amount you pay. So you could buy like a load of a Barbos instead of one Royce and if they all rise you're probably going to make more profit. But this one has slightly more risk because EA might not adjust the price ranges because that's a big factor. If EA don't adjust the price ranges then you can't really invest. Well they'll be the, they'll be the lowest tier in the price range. Say if it's like 20k, 50k, they'll be going for 20k and they'll be back when the game comes out, they'll be going for the upper bracket of their price range. But the safest way of investing is with consumables. So fitness cards and contracts. Because during the web app, no one's going to want contracts. People will try and sell them like as easy as possible so they'll go for 200 coins. But, well you can probably pick them up for 150. But when the game comes out, people pay more than 200 coins for contracts. They're paying like 400 coins for a gold contract. And like you think you pick them up for 150 you sell them on for 400 you can pick up so many and you can basically do the same with fitness cards as well and fitness cards go for a lot more these good fitness cards web app they'll be like 500 coins when the game comes out they go up to like two three K and this is just how to make really easy coins when the game comes out when the game drops you want all your coins invested into cards and also other people will start to invest so the earlier you buy these cards the more you the more profit you get and the quicker you get your profit so that's gonna be it from this episode I'll do another slightly investing episode coming up soon about the team of the week the first one which comes out because that's usually the way where you can make the most coins but that'll be out next episode time so make sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe down below if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next video